is like to share my testimony with everyone that's viewing us today. About 15 years ago, I lived on Broadway in Nashville, Tennessee, and I was really involved with the occult and was practicing witchcraft and different kinds of meditation cults, almost about to lose my mind. Everything seemed like that it was going wrong. Everything was an empty hole, so to speak, like the black hole. It seemed like the, I didn't have a friend in the world. And I really got into a lot of trouble while I was in a jailhouse behind bars. I was practicing witchcraft and chanting a chant to the devil. This old lady came up to the jail where I was. Her name was Sister Susan Sellers. She looked at me and I was playing my guitar and practicing witchcraft, doing you know a lot of crazy things behind those bars. She said, son, God just spoke to me and said, that's not the kind of music you're supposed to be playing. And furthermore, you've played around with God too long. I said, God, if you'll get me out of this jail, I'll live for you and I won't play church anymore. You know, and he got me out of that jail in a very short time. I went to a little church that was up on a hill on Sunday morning. I got out on my knees and I said, God, I need a friend. I need someone to help me in all the trouble that I'm in. I've come to the end of my rope, Jesus, and I don't have no one to turn to but you. And God filled me with the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues, laying there on the floor. No one had ever taught me about receiving the Holy Ghost or how to do it. All I knew was I really needed a friend, and Jesus became my friend. Later, I got baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of my sins, because that's the way the Holy Ghost guided me. But you know, God is so good to us today. I thank you for the privilege of getting to come into your home I just want you to know one thing, that if Jesus Christ would come into your life the way He's come into my life and brought me out of such wickedness, I know that you'd be a happy person. You may not have anything as far as this world's goods has to offer you. You may not have fame and fortune. But if you have Jesus Christ, you have riches that's untold. I remember when I was standing, working on Tom T. Hall's radio, recording studio rather, I remember standing down at the bottom of the hill, looking at the beautiful home up on the hill, and the beautiful horses and the ranch. I sort of daydreamed there for a minute and said, you know, maybe in a few years I can own and possess these things. But as I daydreamed and looked and thought, I'm sitting in the midst of my own mansion, I still was just as empty and unhappy because there's nothing, nothing that can ever make you happy but Jesus Christ. I appreciate God today. Let Him touch your heart as we try to sing for you.